What's up my friends, Bobby Macy here. Thank you for watching this video. Today is about us reviewing the world of captioning services. Now, little bit of history here. The key element is this. When you are scrolling through your phone, yeah, something like this, and you're on social media and you're scrolling, oftentimes you don't have the sound on, which if you are creating content and you don't have captions on your videos, especially when you're posting on LinkedIn, you're posting on Instagram, Facebook, those types of platforms, 80% of users scrolling do not have their sound activated or are not in a position to listen with sound. Now on YouTube, that's a different case, right? People go to YouTube with the intention of listening, but they aren't always consuming video audibly on those other platforms. So this is huge. Coming at you today with two services that do this. Yeah, that looked like four, but we're only reviewing two. So real quick, you've got veed.io over here and you've got Clipscribe over here. These are both great services, but for different reasons as we're about to dive in. But for this video, I have recruited my man Macy Media team member, Spencer Martin, to show you these two services from his point of view. See, I've used both these services and I wanted him to dive in fresh and show you what both of these services were like from the raw, nitty gritty, first time user experience. So hopefully you really enjoy that view. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Roll the intro! What's up guys, my name is Spencer and today we're going to be looking a little bit into Veed versus Clipscribe. So today we're going to be looking into which one is better for what type of user. And remember, this is not a tutorial, this is a comparison. So we are not going to be going into depth into each functionality of each software, but we will be hitting the key points so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so let's dive right in and let's check out which one is better for you. So starting off with Veed, we're going to go into a couple of things on their homepage. The thing that I like most about Veed is that it's a place where you can kind of do everything all in one place. You don't have to use multiple different tools or softwares to get it all done. You can just come here and you can do these things which are uh, showcased in this uh, creative toolbox. You can filter your videos, subtitles, transcription, which is basically the same thing, just one's auto. Um, you can trim your video, add effects, um, you know, a little bit of the basics to do anything that you want on your videos, which I think is awesome. Okay, so starting off the pricing, you kind of see that there are three different options. There's the free, basic, and pro. We're using the basic for $12 a month. I think it's a great deal. I think, um, honestly, for $12, you get a lot um, a lot of bang for your buck. So, But with the free version, you can kind of get your feet wet. You can do 10-minute uh, long videos, um, although you can't upload a whole lot of video at the same time. It's very limited on your size. Um, so for the free version, you can only do 10 minute. Uh, so for the free version, you can only do 10 minute long videos. You have unlimited amount of projects though, and, but your storage is only two gigabytes and the export quality is a little bit lower, only 720. Um, the basic, which is what we use, you can go up to 1080 and then unlimited amount of downloads, a little bit more storage and a little bit longer videos. Um, and then the pro, you get some team capabilities as well as you can save some branding kits. So, you know, kind of just whatever you th um, works best for you, but I think the basic is more than enough. There is an annual and a monthly, so if you buy monthly, it's a little bit more expensive than the annual plan, but like I said, it's well worth it. Okay, so instead of our dashboard, uh, as you can see, it's super nice. Um, I think it's super clean. I really love the dashboard. Um, so it's super easy to start, start a new project. Okay, so once it's loaded, it's pretty easy just to go in. You can pull up a new video. I'm just going to do one that I have ready. Okay, so once you have that video uploaded, I'm just going to quickly edit it myself, kind of show you what I do. You can watch along. Okay, so I click on my subtitles, auto subtitles, start. So this is super easy. They'll 
um, load super fast and you don't have to do anything. Um, obviously, they're not always perfect. So say I said um, creatives and not creative, I can just go and I can change that super easy. I can change my styles. So I don't like that very much. So I'm just gonna make it white and then it's bold. And say I wanna do like that. So this is kind of what I would do. You can change, I want this for uh, my story. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that and then I can go in and I can do fit to frame. Okay, um, images, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna image or add the Macy Media logo for a little bit of branding. I'm just gonna put that small up in that corner. And then elements, you can add a sound or a progress bar, which is awesome. That's something that some of the bigger names are doing. Um, as well as I can add, if I wanted to, and this was a podcast, I could add, add a little sound bar. And it's pretty cool, um, but I don't really care for that right now. So anyways, that's one of the functionalities that you can add in as well as like emojis and shapes. I can add a filter if I wanted to, uh, make it Clayton um, or, you know, whatever I want. I can also adjust it, make it a little bit brighter, um, add effects. Okay, so say I wanted to add a glitch, I could just add a glitch like that. Um, okay, I don't really like that, so I'm just gonna put none. Um, you can also also add audio if you have any audio that you wanna have in, playing in the background. The speed is just fine at one. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could um, draw like a mustache. That's a terrible mustache. Okay, and I could just have that on my video. Um, I don't really want that. So that is just like a quick overview of how to make a video. It's kind of what it would look like. I'm like, so my video is not exactly perfect, but you know, it's, it works for this. Um, okay. So then you can go ahead and you can publish that and it'll just, uh, upload it. So now we're going to check out Clipscribe and see a little bit of how it compares. So as you can see, to start out, you have a couple different options of how you want your video to look. Um, I think it's a little bit more boxy than Veed, um, although it is a very clean look, professional, easy to read. So that is something really good. I think it'll look good on uh, platforms such as like LinkedIn. Okay, so let's look at the pricing. Okay, so there's a monthly and a yearly pricing. The monthly pricing is a little bit more expensive. The yearly is a little bit cheaper. Um, we use the starter, it's plenty, it works great for us. Um, and you can see there's no free version, so you have to start out with paying $8 a month if you buy it for a year, or I think it's $10 if, yeah, $10 if you just buy the monthly, okay. Um, they do have a seven day money back guarantee, which is pretty good, I guess. But anyways, um, the $10 is kind of the starter, that's what we have and that's what we use. So um, let's just go in and let's edit a video. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing as we did on the other one. Okay, just go down and we'll just pick one. Just do subscribe project. Okay. Um, and then you can choose your language. They have a bunch of languages, which is nice. Um, obviously, we're just going to do English. Um, and then was your video shot horizontally or vertical? Mine was horizontal. Okay. And now it's going to upload that. It's going to take a minute. So once it uploads the video, it comes up with this screen. It says you have to wait about five to 10 minutes um, while it creates the subtitles. So you have to wait even longer. So once you pull up the video, it's going to show you different options for your sizing um, and it tells you which platform it works best for and looks best on. Um, it always makes it look square and look, um, you know, professional, a little bit blocky, but you know, it looks good. Okay, so for this one, we're just going to do a one to one ratio. Okay. Um, and then we can choose our different design, um, something simple. We'll just go with this one. So you can go ahead and you can change the color of the text if you want on your headline. You can make it bigger, um, you know, pretty simple right there. Okay, you can also do the same thing with the subtitles. You can make them a little bit bigger if you want. You can also change the background color to be uh, red if that fits like your branding. You can add logos or images, add a headline, add emojis, 
Okay, so they have some cool presets right there. Um, you can also go in and you can check your subtitles, make sure it's all correct. Um, so as you can see, my first subtitle doesn't show up until 1454, so quite a long time. So like I said, you're not, you can't actually edit inside of Clipscribe. You can only upload finished assets and then add subtitles to them. So I would normally go in and I would edit and get rid of that whole entire um, section where I'm not talking and I would just add or, and I would just get rid of it to make the video shorter, but I can't do that on Clipscribe. So like I said, there's a big log section of me not doing anything. Um, anyways, the cool thing is you can add blocks. These are like the timers. They show how much longer they have. You can also do bars that are that progress bar, or you can do a full. So they have a couple different options there. Um, and then you can save it. It can take a minute to make the video, but once it's done, it'll let you know. Okay, so as you can see, Veed is kind of a do-it-all yourself, do it all in one place type of thing. You can edit your video, you can add filters, you can do a little bit of everything. And I think this is huge for content creators or social media managers, anybody who needs to produce a lot of content really quickly and they don't want to go through different softwares to get their final product. So Clipscribe, on the other hand, I think is more for those users that have a bunch of finished assets that they're just looking to get some subtitles onto. And I think it's a more professional look because it is kind of a more blocky, simplistic look um, that is really easy to read. However, it is not for everybody. And again, you cannot edit inside of the actual software. You can only add a subtitle. So that is a major drawback to Clipscribe. So overall, I think Veed is the more universal tool that you can kind of go in and you can do whatever you want. I think it has an awesome capability to add subtitles. And honestly, there's not much of a difference between the subtitle services between Veed and Clipscribe. So I would personally go with Veed because of my roles as a content creator and social media manager. If you want to learn more about content creation tools and you like this video, make sure you subscribe and also check us out on Macy Media. Also, don't forget to comment in the description below what you thought, what we can improve, and also if you would like us to do any other videos. All right, catch you next time.